Monster. I hate what I've become. The darkness just begun. I must confess that I feel like a monster. I feel it deep within. It's just beneath the skin. I must confess that I feel like a monster. I, I feel like a monster. I feel like a monster. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Community Inc. Game by Tiny Build about building a community. Literally. <clears throat> uh, I'm, I haven't played the tutorial. I haven't looked at it at all. We're actually gonna look into the options, see what's going on. Got a lot of different language. Wow. Okay then, they've got some good localization going. Um, very basic input keys. Not all of the audio options I was hoping for, but it'll work. And a decent amount of changes to graphics should you desire. Uh, this is a first impressions video for those who don't know, which means that I'm talking about it. So, uh, let's learn the basics. Why not? Now, for those who don't know, my first impressions video, I literally turn it on, and when I get to the options menu, we start recording. There's no, like, there's no filter here. This is exactly what it's like for you to have played the game. Loading in nature. I didn't know nature could load. What does nature load? Loading critters? Mmm, critters. If your lings do not have a bed or a tent, they will sleep on the ground and will not be happy about it. Hello, welcome to the company, Community Inc. As a as the brand new manager, you must play eight goals in 30 days, so this community is a t tip top shape to sell. You need to hire workers, the links, assign their jobs, and produce items to sell or use inside your village. This tutorial, the time speed has slowed down. Also, we've enabled only the buttons you need to lead you step by step. First, hire your first worker. Great, you got your first worker. Every new worker starts with the builder profession. Let's learn how to move the camera. Way, 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 woo! Yeah. What do you actually look like? Oh, do you have boobs? You totally have boobs. Hey, I'm talking to you. Wait, let me, let me like, quit moving! You're making this so hard. Ah, right, there we go. Wow, you're like a freaky, soulless, slender man lady. Okay, that's what I need to know. Each month is 30 days, and each day has a clear sky. can have clear skies, rain, or snow. Check the weather for this month's calendar. Ah, oh, sunny, sunny, sunny. Oh god, oh god, sunny, sunny. Oh god, oh god, sunny. What the fuck, winter? Sunny, sunny. Okay, got it. Nighttime is always cold, so make sure to provide heat sources like ground lanterns. Lanterns as heat sources? That doesn't really help. When it snows or rains, the entire day will be cold, so you'll need to craft better clothes for your workers to keep them warm, otherwise they might get sick. So close to get your worker. Select the lings list. Gus Kick. Can I rename these people? Any resources dropped on the ground. I'm clearly like food set as a priority. If not a priority, then they will gather the nearest resource. Let's click on your worker. Hi! Where's health status? Wow, you're dumb. You're like dumb and unhappy about being dumb. It's increased by providing beds and food. When happiness is low, they'll start to cause fights, leave your village, or set objects on fire? Lings. Keep links warm by good clothes and furnishings with the fire sources. Each fire has a radius that will heat nearby lings. If lings get cold, they'll lose health. Mood will always decrease when they're working. When mood gets low, they will look for something to enjoy, relax, study, and pray. And low acceptance will make them angry and you will lose control of them. They will start to destroy everything. Certain attitudes attributes make lings work faster to resist sickness. It can also change how much health and fight power they have. You can see what items your lings have with them and how much money they have. Traits are what makes each ling unique. Some are born warriors, others to take care of plantations. There are 12 unique traits, so check it out for hiring new workers. Okay, let's select a new professional. Each ling can have up to five different professions, but only one active at a time. 
The more where they work, the better they get. <clears throat> Lumberjack. Requires a tool, so your work will have to go to the storage and retrieve the tools. Tools can be crafted by your lanes in the crafting menu. Okay. So now we have a lumberjack. Select a forage, the forage option. Select a few trees on the map. Okay. As you can see, you cannot directly control each worker, but give them orders to follow. Okay. Launch drop with another number. Idle workers gather resources while waiting orders. Let's wait for them to collect eight logs. Also, spit the game of pressing the number timers one, two, and three. Hackety, 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 choppity, choppity, chop. Look at. Hold on, I want to test something. Can I edit your name? I can! Done! Wait, did that take? Toki the Toke. In. I can totally rename them. I can make them into you guys. That's good. It's awful, but it's good. Toki the token job level up. Yay! Toki's getting better at chopping trees. Raw materials are required to craft items. For example, you need wood logs from chopped trees and raw stone from mining rocks. There are also plants and plantations that drop raw items. First, your workers need workbenches or workplaces. Each profession requires a different workbench. Let's start with a worker workbench, which lumberjacks and builders can use. You should be more creative with your names than worker workbench. I'm just saying. That is some powerful fun. Look at that hammering. Look at the sheer area of effect of the shrapnel from that hammering. Oh my god, it's like you're literally hitting things with a grenade. Look in the crafting window. Five categories for food, healthcare, crafted goods, furnishing, and combat. Each item has required components which are shown in the window. Selected items are added to the production queue. When a link is working on an item, an icon will show up to show the items taking place in queue. Craft a wood plate. Huh. Hmm, food. Carrot cake is the ultimate food. Great job, don't you? Let's proceed to the next tutorial. Food and producing. Oh my. So, it's like I'm building a primitive medieval community in the far-flung future. Interesting. I mean interesting in the sense that it's different tiny build always gives like the weirdest games I'm, but but some of them are cool like it's that balance between this is awesome and what the fuck <laughs> 
Today we're going to just finish what you're needing. Workers need two meals a day at midday and in the evening. They don't get breakfast? I'm a monster! I don't feed on breakfast! We need to start with a farmer. You collect raw food to craft meals from plantations, hunting, and animal corrals. Let's talk about plantations first. It's the easiest one. Each community starts with the two types of plant. Let's see how this works. Okay. Anytime you want to plant something, you have to have at least one of each of that food or plant in storage. Now we have a new plantation. Your farmers will work there. Each plantation has three phases, and har harvesting happens in the third phase. In this tutorial, we already have one plantation ready to harvest. Look at the corn plantation near your cart. Harvesting works the same as for harvest plantations. Harvest priority actions for other farmers. The farmers will now harvest the plantation. Each plantation produces four units of food. Once it's harvested, your other workers will gather and put it in the storage. Let's learn about animal corrals for keep. You can keep animals to produce food, but they take longer to grow than plantations. These animal corrals three phases, which the farmers take care of. The third stage is when you harvest them for meat. Research is where you open up more options community. You can use your maps to scroll over what types of research unlock, such as animal breed research, to build animal corrals. Buildings work differently than objects that you place on the ground, like worker or worker bench tutorial. You can place buildings at any time, even if you don't have enough resources on hand. Once placed, the workers will retrieve items from storage as soon as they become available. Oh, cool. Uh, is there a way to rotate this? Um, Righto, I guess we're going to put it there. Workers will get items that are idle and start building next. Your builders will take this priority. If you don't have any items, you can go forge and craft until you gather them out. Luckily, we have all the items you, for you to build, so let's wait for them to finish. Eight grain, eight wood planks, and three hunks of stone. Yeah, we gotta get stoned with this stuff. What are you doing to that poor corn? It's like you're raping the cob. What the hell? Like seriously, what is he doing? No, not the cabbages too! Poor cabbages. Poor cabbages. Do they really just grab, yeah, they literally just grab like one item at a time. Did you two just stop and have a conversation? Was that a thing? Hold the phone. Is there personality with you guys? I'm gonna watch this. Is that ready to harvest already? It's been less than a day. What kind of super mutant corn is this that you can harvest it every day? Oh my god, you do. You, you literally just talked about the weather. That literally sounds like gunshots. Are you sure you got this from a hammer and not a firearm? Are you sure, devs? Are you sure? As the hammers sink up. Now your farmers can work the corrals. You have three cows, four pigs, and six chickens per corral. <coughs> I mean, so the core of this is building a town. 
diplomacy and combat because apparently there's diplomacy apparently this is like you know age of empires this is my land bitch i want you off of it type of deal change professions strategically what if i just recruit more links is that okay what Seems like the way to go for me. Welcome back. Let's learn stuff such as building fires and fighting enemies. Our company is not the only one trying to dominate these portals. There are eight other creatures and races in this world. Blue Fox, Mush Face, Magic Oak, Dark Panther, Stone Golem, Sharp Eagle, Dragonite, and Orkon. They may or may not be friendly. That will depend on your actions. You must be careful with whom you trade with and accept contracts from. For example, if you do business with Stone Golems, the Magic Oaks will not be pleased. They're rivals, so your relationship with that race will drop. If your relationship gets too bad, they might attack you. In time, you will learn that each creature likes different types of items. For example, Stone Golems never want stone, so play your cards right and you'll be in great shape. To trade, you must have shops and traders in your community. You can choose what items to trade in the shop. This is how you make surplus our currency, in addition to competing, completing contract. All right, let's sign our first agreement. <sighs> you have a dead fish in your mouth. You are weird looking. I don't know what to make of you. You're fucking creepy. Oh my god, is your brain bubbling out of you? Look at the like his brain like what the What is that? Is is that like a cheeseburger with mutated fondue is the cheese? Uh, okay. They're called the mu That's a mushroom, apparently. Trade agreement. Trade agreements make certain race come to your community more often. We'll need to build a shop to have something to sell them. You have... You remember how to build things, right? Yeah, yeah, let's build a shop. Can I face the building? Also, can I move my storage? These portals are weird. I'm just pointing that out now. There's like so much like little bitty bits of drama you could play out here and turn this into a total soap opera. Like 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 I could literally make this like uh Emerald and uh Tom competing for Cobalt's affections. You know I'd do it too. Uh oh, uh oh, the Linzabi has stepped in and flirted. What could this mean for everyone else? We'll never know. Actually, you know what? Just to screw with you guys. I, I can't... Uh, but I want to edit them! Right, tutorial, can't edit. Not allowed. Now we have our first shop. Let's select them set up creatures that are either neutral in peace or in trade agreement will come. Creatures at war will not come at all. Also, your workers' trade level affect how much your items will sell for. The better the trade, the better the sale. You already have a trader, so he'll go to the take care of shop. In the future, you need to choose items to sell in your shop, but we will skip this for now since it's 
because it's very simple. So we're going to learn how to deal with fire. You'll need a well to protect your community. Luckily, we have one inside storage, so let's build it. Open storage to locate the well. Okay. Rotate his arm. That's good to know. Hold on. There it is. Let's put it right there outside the barn. Let's put up fire so you always have a builder in your community. They're all the you know, ones that can build objects and construct buildings. Ah. I got Look, a fire has started. We must have minions roaming around. They like to steal items and set fires. You'll have to keep an eye out. Let's wait for our builders to extinguish the fire. Did they literally just set the bed on fire? I think they had sex and the orgasm was just too much for the bed. Uh, let's, we're just gonna go with that. Like when you spew flaming spooge, you know that you're way too pent up. Kill the magic minion. It's a small creature. Like the warrior, right click anywhere on the map to have him move there. That is the weirdest way for you to have gone. I'm just saying, so I need to find the magic minion. It's a small creature. Where's the minion? Right click to make your warrior attack the target. I have to find a target. An appropriate target. I basically need to order him around like a little bitch. I like that. I don't see the target. It's a small creature. Anywhere on the map, boom. Right click on your target to make your warrior attack if you can't find. I can't find the target. There you are. Great, the threat's been eliminated. Now, notice your entire community is in the center of the village. Only warrior scars can fight, so your workers will stop working and take cover. An alarm triggers anytime combat happens. You'll need to turn the alarm off to get everyone to go back to work. Okay. Tracks allow you to make surplus currency more quickly. Oh, it's requesting 20 wood planks. Let's accept this one. reward. Hey, you shouldn't trade with them. They're no good. Great, we found our contract and gained some surplus. She goes are happy with the ghost so that we've helped their rivals. It's impossible to please everyone all the time. Okay! 
So, we've now gone over all of the basics of Community Inc. What do you guys think? Do you enjoy it? So this is a reminder, by the way, uh, next uh, month at ColossalCon, September 8th through the 10th, I'll be there. Let me know what you thought about Community Inc. in the description below if you'd like for me to play through the main gameplay now that you've seen the basic tutorial and it's taught me how to play the game. Uh, if you would like to uh, if, hit the like button, let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, you can just do the Patreon. Patreon's how I pay my bills, and Patreon meeting this month is on the 20th of August. Hopefully see you guys there. Um, if you would like to uh, participate in um, the oh my god why is that stuff still there let's close all that that's my bad uh, if you would like to see me at the Colossal Con it is in the Pocono Mountains Pennsylvania uh, it's about an hour and a half north of Pennsylvania uh, Philadelphia and I would love to see you guys there in the meantime I'll see all you guys tomorrow oh and let's see stuck to the end the winks back it's been revived Cause I ordered it, you motherfuckers! Now wink back! Ha! What are you looking at? Boxes is a little crazy. It happens. So in the meantime, I'll see you guys later. Bye.